In this video, you are going to learn how to pump your septic tank from start to finish. I'm also going to show you a trick that you can use to stop overflows for your septic tank, stop smell, and also stop clogging. You are also going to learn how sewage is treated at the sewage treatment plant to create other reusable products. Let's break down the whole process into three easy steps that everyone needs to know, so be sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss this. The major materials required when pumping a septic tank include a rake. A rake will help you remove non-biodegradable products away from the septic tank. Two, a chemical disinfectant to kill germs and prevent users from getting diseases. A pipe to unblock or unclog all manholes. A pipe which will transport sewage from the septic tank to the truck. A truck that will transport the sewage from the site to the sewage treatment plant. The first step when pumping your septic tank is to pour a detergent or chemical into your septic tank and all manholes. This chemical kills germs and at the same time kills the smell to enable you work from a smell-free environment. The second step is to suck or pump the sewage from the septic tank. Begin by removing non-biodegradable materials that people flush into the septic tank using a rake. The most common ones include brushes, shavers, toothbrushes, polythene bags, baby wipes or pampers, and female pads. These are the number one causes of blockages for your septic tank, and that's why you must be mindful of what you flush into your toilet. Next is joining together the pipes from the truck up to the septic tank, and then the sucking begins. This pipe sucks the liquid sewage from the septic tank to the truck. When pumping, you also have to clean all manholes. Pour the chemical into the manholes to avoid any kind of infection, then push with a small PVC pipe into the piping system to unblock any clogged parts. Clean thoroughly and unclog all parts of the plumbing system. Also be sure to suck wastewater from the soak pit, and that's why it's important to insert a heavy duty PVC pipe in the middle of the soak pit at the time when building it. This pipe provides access for the pump to suck the whole soak pit just in case it fills up. Suck the whole septic tank and clean every manhole by powering their water. The third step is to treat the sewage. After sucking the whole septic tank, you take the sewage to the sewage treatment plant. At the plant, non-biodegradable items such as plastics, baby wipes, female pads, brushes, shavers are all put into these containers and then degraded under safe controlled conditions. On the other hand, sewage is pumped into this gazetted area. In this area, solids are separated from liquids. Liquids will be put on one side and then solids on the other side. The solids will be initially first treated in this hole and then further treated to create manure and charcoal. Then liquid sewage will be further treated here to create clean water safer to enter into the environment. This manure is transported to gardens to grow crops and then this wastewater goes back into the groundwater system which is again used by human beings for daily use. The process continues like that every time you use your toilet. A small tip here, when building your septic tank, you have to provide it with a large soap pit. When you build a small soak pit, there will always be this kind of backflow and overflows. Bad smell can be treated by installing an S-trap or P-trap at every point joining the toilet to the main house, then to the septic tank plumbing system. Clogging can be stopped by providing enough slope, using enough water while using the toilet, and also avoid flushing non-biodegradable products into the septic tank. In summary, when pumping your septic tank, the first step is to pour a detergent or chemical into the septic tank and all manholes. The second step is pumping or sucking out sewage from the septic tank. And the third step is treating the sewage at the sewage treatment plant. To avoid all these problems affecting septic tanks, hire professionals who really understand how to build septic tanks the right way. I can make for you a drawing or plan 
which your builders can follow to build a standard septic tank. In case you'd like to buy these plans or drawings for your new septic tank project, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching.